is uh, UW33 alignment to uh, tolerances. For example, we put in here, these should be in one, uh, one line, in the same plane, right? The same things in here. This is the best way when we measure the you know, misalignment by any welding gauge. We can use the Cambridge welding gauge, we can use the VVAC gauge, put the VVAC gauge and measure in here, or Cambridge welding gauge, or API gauge, putting in here and making measuring, uh, sorry, AWS gauge, and then uh, measuring the uh, misalignment in here should be in a certain value. Normally, we're having the stringent requirement for the longitudinal joints rather than the circumferential joints because these are bearing double stress than circumferential joints. As you can see, I put in the screen table UW33 for you know, acceptance criteria for category A joints and for category B, C, D. B, C, D is treated in a different way and category A, uh, you know, treated a uh, different way. The category A joints have a stringent requirement. If you look at the table and have some examples, then you can see they're having a, a stringent requirement. Now, we are having a, a pressure vessel. We're assuming our wall thickness for this pressure vessel is 3.25 inch. So for a long joint, is a category A joint, and then you go to the over two inch in the table. You can see the table in, in my right, and there's a, there's a last item is over two inch, and then it says for category A joint, the lesser of the, you know, uh, the lesser of the 3.75 inch, and then when you, or uh, one eight inch, and then when you make a calculation a little bit in here, you can see the for long joint, 116 inch to 3.25 inch is going to be 0 0.208. And if you compare with the 3.375 inch, the max allowed is going to be 208 inch. So, and then the same things, we make the same similar calculation for circumferential joint and it comes as a 4.06. You can see 208. 406 and you can see the stringent requirement comes with the category a joint as i already explained to you you're having a more stringent requirement for category a joint so some things a misalignment might be acceptable they might have the same value of the misalignment this and this if you measure by the welding gauge they have exactly the same amount of the misalignment but this one might be acceptable and this might be rejectable because we are having a tighter and stringent requirement for category A joint.